be back for more of the action in a moment from Mount Panorama. Bathurst, waiting for the cars coming over the hump. We have one as we pull out of this in the pits. Oh, it's the second time in for car 16, Gary Rogers, the recar Commodore. And also, up oh, Dixon's in trouble, the barbecue's Galore Camaro. Had some damage there in the right front. Well, both cars are damaged. The Camaro had a bit on the front, as you can see. The mechanic's trying to lift the car by hand. That'll be a big load because that will be the heaviest car in the race. Can't get the jacks under for whatever reason. Ron Wantless in car 16 in for the same sort of reasons. He had an enormous shunt which has damaged the front end. He went in once, went out the track and it back again for further repair. So the high pace and the crashes which often result from that pace are taking their toll. It's the third time Dixon's been in too. There's the race leaders as you can see by our Phillips scoreboard Peter Brock 05, the race leader from Alan Rice in the recar Commodore. Third is Kevin Bartlett in the nine that were Camara. Fourth place, John Harvey in the Marlboro Hot Dealer Team Commodore. Fifth place is Queensland's very own Dick Johnson in the True Blue Board. Then further back to number 22, the Cullen entry. Brock to Grice now, 16 seconds. Grice to Bartlett, 11.7 seconds. Oh, look at this dice here. Oh, this has been raging now for about five laps. The battle for third place. Big Rev Kev. Kevin flies across the top of the mountain, but watch the way John Harvey closes up just a little on the way down the mountain. It's a classic dice. Great rivals for years and years. They have high, a high level of respect for each other, which makes it better when they're racing. A hand goes up to signal a flag. There must be uh, some marshal there, because certainly Kevin Butler raised his hand. I can't see a crash car there, but some sign going up that there's something under the track. I don't think it was Kevin waving John past. see the comparison the speed between the Chevy Camaro and the dealer team Commodore as they hit Conrad straight again. Johnson not that far back behind him. Still running in fifth place in the race. Chevy Camaro a heavier car than the Commodore but it is lower and better shaped. It's a sports car. The Commodore is made basically to carry people. Therefore has a high roof line and that shows in the long legs. Oh there's one of the Camaros into the fence. We saw him in the pits just a while ago I think. Jeff the other one. Jeff Leeds and Peter Fitzgerald in yep. the Camaro. Goodness me they are not having a good race. One car damage in the pits on the right hand side, one car damaged against the fence on the right hand side. It's not cooking too well for the barbecues galore team with Dixon already in and one parked against the wall. I'd say the team is well done. Well that's a sorry sight, obviously they're out of the race, they may get it back to the pitch and the truck but their race is, is run. And look how close John Harvey is here. Managed to get right on the tail of Kevin Butler down the straight. Dick Johnson lurking close behind, enjoying the scrap, but not able to do much about it. Johnny Harvey takes a tighter line, pulls out the pass from the inside, but that might be a, a false move because there's a slow car in front, and he'll have to get in behind the, the Camaro again, unless he just there's, there he goes, back onto the right, to, just to overtake this car that they're now approaching on the way up the straight. It's almost as quick as they are. It's one of the big V8s. But Harvey ties in right behind Kevin Bartlett. Then they, he just has time to tuck in for the swinging right-hander up through GTX. The uh, Everlast uh, Falcon of veterans Brian Sampson, Bill O'Brien in the pits. I don't think Bill O'Brien would like to be called a, a veteran. Well, in terms of his racing experience. You're right. Through the cutting again. With, with his long brown curly locks, he looks like one of the younger drivers. He's a Canberra driver. We have four Canberra drivers in the race. Quite a wide interstate representation. Just one driver from South Australia and none this year, unfortunately, from Western Australia. There were four from Tasmania, but we've lost, unfortunately, Garth Wigston on that early lap when he got tangled up in that uh, cut between the three cars, which took him out of the race, went up into seventh place. It looked such a promising effort. Car 51, the Capri of Laurie Nelson and Peter Jones, has been wheeled to the rear of the pits. They've got some extensive uh, work to do back there. Not as big an international representation this year. There are seven overseas drivers taking part. 